Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechach Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And um, this is going to be a reply to the elder brother Madagun. Um, in the lesson that you see here on the screen, labeled that defining moment, in which he he goes into the um, hour of temptation, to where Esau presses the men of the Lord to take the chip, you know, and it's going to be your faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, against uh the pressure from the world. Is literally going to be the pressure from the world And that's why that's You know Pushing not to take that chip That's a heavy um, You know to take that chip That's a heavy offense man You know and that defining moment Because everything you worked for All you know All the things you've done Is leading up into that moment To where you take the chip Alright all those things Which you have done for the Lord, all the works, all the camping, you know, you putting yourself out there is for naught because you didn't really believe for yourself. That's why Yahweh Shai said, man, unless your uh, your righteousness shall exceed that of the Pharisees and of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, ye shall in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. In Matthew's the fifth chapter, I believe it's Matthew's five and nineteen and twenty one. So you gotta have this word within you. Okay, and the elder brother Madagon, he brought out Isaiah, I meant no, Psalms 57. All right, so I'm going to read it and get into it because, you know, I was thinking about that, you know, that's been something heavy in my mind lately too, you know, about how, you know, we really, in this world, you know, on, on your daily walks and stuff like that, you see how in that time, these people are really going to want to take your head off, man. These people are really going to want to take your head off. And, um, you know, they call us rapists. People got kids. You know, people got young daughters, young nieces, man. You know, they call, they're going to call us terrorists. You know, people are hardcore Americans, man. Even Jakes. You know, a lot of Jakes are uh, so-called Republicans, man. Okay? So imagine how hard it's going to be in that day. All right? But we got to always know that we, even even when it looks like we have the uh, the worst hand ever, we have the upper hand. All right. And um, this story is going to prove to be so. All right. So this is Psalms 57. I'm going to start at the top. To the chief musician, Alta Shith Miktam of David, when he fled from Saul in the cave, be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me. For my soul trusteth in thee. Yet in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. Because here it is, an innocent man, all right, being chased, all right, uh, to his death. Because Saul sought to put him to death. Because the Lord put an evil spirit on this man. All right, the Lord put an evil spirit on Saul. And these people... Are going to have evil spirits on them, man. Alright, which they already do. But at that point, it's going to be heightened. You know? But one thing to take out of the story between, you know, King Saul chasing uh, David. Is that really David, at all times, he literally always had the upper hand. You know? So us, man, we are going to always have the upper hand. You know? We're going to always have the upper hand, man. You know, because we got Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, like um, Elisha and his understudy. You know, when I, um, what was it, the Syrians, I believe. I can't remember exactly. Uh, let me see. They that, I'm going to just look at it real quick, Lil Will, and I'll find it.
Bear with me, I can do that. Second King six and uh two sixteen. Okay, con, con. Yeah, man. So when you read this story, um, it is actually this guy, the king of uh, a, the king of Syria, was pissed at Elisha for telling uh the king because Elisha told the king of Israel basically that the king of Syria was uh, going to trap him, you know, to take him down in his army, you know. So because of that, you know, the king of Syria. He uh he took win, you know he found out what Elisha had did, and basically he came he came to uh. It, it seemed it seemed as if he came to kill him, man. So uh, this is uh jumping to Second Kings six and fifteen, and when the servant of the man of God was risen up early, and gone forth, behold, and host come past the city, both with horses and chariots, and his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? So Elisha's servant was uh, afraid, and rightly so, man, you know, because there were so many, you know, they were outnumbered. And he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto Yahweh and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. You know, and that's that, that's basically the point, man. You know, on, on to the carnal mind, you know, to the carnal eye, you know, we, we will look outnumbered. We will look, uh, you know, destitute in that day. But really it's more with us than it is with them. All right, and I firmly believe that in that day, the Most High is going to show us, and He's going to clearly show us those uh, the angels, the angels that are with us, man. You know, I firmly believe that, man, and that's what the uh, the brother has said too. You know, the elder brother Madagan, he was even saying like, you got to believe that in that day, the Lord somehow, some way, is going to save you out of it, man. You know, to where Esau is probably torturing you or try to uh, uh, get put the chip in you, the Most High can just turn your hand into steel, man. Or something like that. You know, and I firmly believe that as the elder uh Madagan was saying that too. So going back into Psalms 57 now. Get rid of some of these. Psalms 57 in verse uh to lock it real quick. I just want to see something real quick. All right, so this is back at Psalms 57 and 2. I will cry unto God, most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. And we have to constantly remember to pray, man. You know, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling depressed, hey, pray. Okay? Cry unto you, how about Shem Yahushua? He wants that. You know, Psalms 34. The Lord said that he will not, uh, let me see. Psalms 34 and 17, the righteous cry and the Yahweh hear and delivereth them out of all their troubles. You know, so you don't want to fall out and leave the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah now. You got a relationship to build with him, man. You know, because that's the only thing that's going to save you in that day. The scriptures say that hey, you can't even prepare for that day because it was a time that it's going to be a time in Jacob's trouble that was never before seen, man. You know, so we could only talk about it, but. The, the seeing is it's a different story, man. You know, so but the faith of Yahweh by Shimi Shai conquers all. You know, 
you know, and, and that's the faith that we got to have, man. The faith we got to, like the scriptures say, put on as if it was of the elect. In the wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, it says that the elects, their faith is, is immortal. Okay, so no matter what happens, their faith uh, is, is still there, man. You know, you know, the book of, uh, I think it was Sirach, the first chapter. Let me see. I think it was Sirach, the first chapter. I don't know what's going on. Every time I try to do a lesson, there's something wrong with this app. I'm going to just read that. Yeah, man. Sirach, uh 1 and 13. Whoso feareth the Lord. It shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. All right? And the Lord is going to show us things, you know what I'm saying, to cheer us up, man. Okay? Like, I, what was it, the Apostle Peter, when he was in jail? All right? He had the, hey, the angel smote him, woke him up, and broke him out of jail, man. And then you had Paul and, uh, I believe it was Paul and Silas in Acts, the 16th chapter, where they were actually singing. They were rejoicing in jail, man. You know, so that's the acts of our forefathers, man. That's the uh, the noble courage they had, man. All right, so now let's go back to Psalms. Oh, well, I had it here. Psalms 57 and 2. He shall send from heaven and save from the reproach of him that will swallow me up. You see, so the Most High is going to send help from heaven, man. Okay, he's going to send us out angelic forces to help us out. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. You know, he's going to send forth that comforter. He's hey, he's been sending it forth all along. Why stop now? My soul is among lions and I lie even among them that are set on fire. OK, because as I said before, you know, these people, hey, the demons that's going to be on them is going to be way more amplified on that day, man. All right. So it says, my soul is among lions and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Okay. But what the scriptures say, man, about those that are incensed against us. The scriptures say, let me grab that. That's the spirit. I just actually thought about that. And that's how it's going to be in that day. You know how we do lessons and as you're speaking, or even as sometimes, you know, you might be meditating on the hell you're going through and the most I just send you a, a precept that you might have read or, you know, send you to a precept. To remind you that he's with you. That's going to be like that in that day, man. Let me see. I think it was 41. 41 and 11. That's the spirit. I jumped right to it. 41 and 10. Fear not. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with thy right hand. With the right hand of my righteousness. And behold, all they that were instanced against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Okay? And these people are going to have a shameful death, man. Like King Saul, man. He had a shameful death, man. He, he, he you know, he died in the uh, hands of, of heathens, man. You know? But yeah, how about Shimei Shai got. You know, uh, you know, something prepared for us, man. You know, we just got to believe that, man. Okay. And even if we know some, some brothers will have to be martyrs, but even them, man, they're going to come back. Hey, it's really like they never, uh, passed away, man. Cause they're going to come right back. Like the scriptures say, all right. He that died from the Lord shall rise first. All right. And then what? Well, you're going to get busy with the Lord, man. Scripture said, he that suffer with me shall reign with me. All right. So it's really a win-win situation all around, you know, but we, we always got to remain in the spirit and not look at this, uh, you know, this fight of ours, uh, carnally, man. And a hey, man, this, and this, this flesh is it's hard to do, man, you know, but we have to, man, because if you don't, 
you know, you're just gonna, it's gonna bug you out, you know, it's gonna bug you out, you're gonna forget why you're doing this, and you're gonna try to take matters in your own hand, man, all right, and this, uh, even the scriptures speak about those who have taken matters in their own hand, man, all right, they, they, they were, they were consumed, all right, trying to take matters in, into their own hands, all right, so it says, my soul is among lions, hey, Made me think about who was that Peter when he tried to take matters into his own hands and uh swiping that centurion's ear off. Yahweh Shai called him Satan, man, because that's not the way to go, man. You know, Yahweh Shai went out uh, uh trusting in the Lord, that's what we got to do. We got to go out trusting in the Lord, okay? My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows. And their tongue are a sharp sword. And what's happening now is that Esau is creating these laws and statutes and commandments to push us off as terrorists, man. All right. Whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongues a sharp sword. Okay. You know, so it's going to make us look out to look like the bad guys, like the brothers in San Fran. They made that video called America's uh, Worst Hate Group, all right, to where they only played, you know, the brothers cursing the heathens out, but they never played the, the incidents or whatever happened to lead up to that, man, all right, or the scriptures that brothers had brought out, man. They never played that. So it says, be thou exalted, O power, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth, you know, and hey, man, this is why King David was a Hey, he was a man after the Lord's heart because he knew how to speak to the Lord. He knew that his deliverance would basically mean the exaltation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is with the underdog, man. All right, he told uh, Apostle Paul, man, uh, when that when uh, when thou art weak, I am strong. All right, so that's when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai comes through, man. All right, uh, who is that? Uh, and Ananias, uh, Misael, and um, Azariah, otherwise known as the uh, three holy children um, in the book of Daniel. When they wouldn't bow down, all right, when they wouldn't bow down to, um, uh, it was either Nebuchadnezzar or uh, the dude under him. I can't exactly remember. I believe it's Nebuchadnezzar. They were thrown into the uh, fiery furnace. All right, but Yahweh was was with them. And guess what? They were singing in that fiery furnace, man. All right, giving praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and they were delivered out of that. All right, so this is why King David goes on to say, "My, uh, they have prepared a net for my steps; my soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the midst whereof they are falling themselves." You know, and that was heavy, man, because when you read into the story, uh, I want to, I want to say their proper names: Misael and Ananias and uh. Um, Azarias, otherwise known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that were that were their slaves' uh, names. All right, the guys that were trying to, you know, put them in that fiery furnace, they got burnt themselves, man. You know, but then the um the actual the three holy children, you know, they came out. The scriptures say that there was there was not even a smell of smoke on them, man. Okay, my heart is fixed. Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my glory. Awake, psalteries and harp. I myself will awake early. You know, and that's the best gift, man. It's a, it's a, it's a steady mind in that day. <sighs> that's the best gift you could have, man. You know? Uh, like, uh, who's it, Job? Job, hey, Job uh, said it best, man. I'm going to just grab that. Hey, even if you got to go a little hungry for a few days, what Job say? Job 23 and 11, my foot have held his steps. His ways have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandments of his lips. Have I, I have esteemed the words of his mouth. More than my necessary food. Okay. 
So as food will keep you going, give you energy, give you strength. The words of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai kept, you know, will keep us going in that day. Just as it kept, uh, uh, you know, three holy children uh, going, just as it kept Daniel going, all right, uh, uh, Moses, uh, Joseph, you know, all the different men of the Lord. All right, it will keep us going, man. You know? So let's go back to uh, Psalms 57. My heart is fixed. Which that word fixed means uh to be firm, be stable, be established. Okay? You know, his heart was stable, man. Trusting in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That knowledge, a hey, knowledge and wisdom, all right, shall be the stability of that time and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay, so that's going to be, that's going to keep us together. That's going to keep, you know, keep our sinews uh, together, if you will, through the spirit. The word of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, awake up, my glory. Awake. Psalteries and harp, I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O power, above the heavens. Let the glory be above all the earth. Let thy glory be above all the earth. You know? So in that time, hey, we just got to remember to praise Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and let him do his thing. You know? Like I said, it's... Not it's easier said than done, but that's why we got to put up them prayers, man. Bible Kushar, Lord willing. Um, how's the scripture go? Damn, uh, help me, uh, def uh, keep definitely thy works until the end. Ath my shaika, ait ait kwataza, aizarnaya, la nazak, ath my shaika, ait ait kwataza. Aizarnaya la nazak ath aishadka ait aif kwataza. Trying to remember exactly how it goes in the um, Hebrew. I know the elder brother Madagan did a video on it. All right. Going into, I believe, it was Revelations 2 and 26. Help me to definitely keep that works until the end. All right. Ait aif aizarnaya help me la nazak to overcome. Wa I uh. I forgot you say indefinitely. What well, my my shaika indefinitely help me to salaki babu kusha babu kusha babu kusha tapalafia shemai ta was tapalafia's uh my prayer shemai is here I thought now babu kusha help me Izarnaya to keep definitely thy works until the end salaki I can't exactly remember how to say it in Hebrew I got it written down though. You know, but I believe the elder brother Mata Gun, he did a video um in the last one Kodash in um Hebrew of uh what was it Revelations two and twenty six, I wanna say. You know. You know, hey man, so just you know, remember them prayers, man. Remember to pray and praise your how about Shimmy Hawa Shah when you're going through it. You know, and Lord willing, I can continue to, you know, a hey, be a product a hey, practice what I preach, as they say. You know, so shalom to the elect.